Rap House Reactions. Today we got Old Ass Rider, unapologetic official video. Let's get it. Now this Meek artist, bro, is Meek artist, and he also very talented. If y'all have not heard his shit yet, go look up Old Ass Rider, bro. He got crazy bangers, you feel me? Um, tap in with him. I'm gonna leave the link. and I also get with me for interviews, for artist interviews, for reactions. Get get up with me. Um, my Instagram is a money six one zero. Go over there. I'm gonna leave that in, up in the corner there. I'm gonna leave the link to the original video down below. All right, shout out to Ryder. Let's get it. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Never give my dreams up, stay down in my teams up, bro. That's that's fire, bro. What he said, I'm gonna make sure he actually said that before I wanna run it back a little bit. Town then put a bean up, never give my dreams up, stay down in my screens up. Go stay down in my screens up, bro. That's you wanna stay down, you always stay down, no matter how long it take you. If you got a dream or something you're passionate about, if you young and you got something you're passionate about, you're working towards something, you're working towards something, you work every day, get up every day and work towards it. Nobody gonna do it for you, bro. Nobody gonna do it for you. You gotta get up every day and put the work in because at the end of the day, who you got to fall back on? Yourself. Some people might have their parents, but at the end of the day, your parents, if you're an adult, your parents are gonna die at some point. So you gotta kind of put in that work Every day, you should have the work ethic. And nobody's coming to save you either. Nobody coming to save you. You might get, you know, like, you might get lucky here and there. But, like, nah, bro. Don't depend on that. Go up. Get a job. Whether it's, even if it's just back, back doing trash or bagging up. Whatever the fuck you got to do. Do it, bro. And you can come out and then work on your, work on your dream every single day. You see me. Like, y'all see me making videos every day. Y'all don't see me at the bar on weekends. Y'all don't see me with my, but y'all, y'all don't see me going out part, like, unless it's like a networking event or something, but I stay locked in, bro. Oh, check the dish though. They ain't fucking with this flow. Yeah. We can make some coins, but the business gotta make sense though. Thank gotta make fed. some coins, but the business gotta make sense though. Real rap, bro. Youngins, if you want, if you fuck with Ryder, right? DM him, you can say like, yo, like DM him, be like, yo, I fuck with your shit. He gonna appreciate it. He'll appreciate it. Don't blow him up. But if you want to do business with him, be like, yo, learn the business. First off, learn the business. Um, And I'm going to give you some game while I'm here too. So if you, before you even start DMing artists and shit, there's this book by Donald S. Passman. It's called All About the Music Business. Volume, whatever I forget what it's called. Just look up that by Donald S. Pass, it'll pop up. Read that book, learn everything you can. Watch YouTube to tour, watch YouTube videos, learn everything. YouTube's free, bro. Use that shit. If you have a if you're lucky enough to have a family member that was doing music, talk to them. Um, you know, but don't just go to Rada and be like, it's but with no following, no experience, no nothing, and go DM them and be like, yo, Rada. How much for a very? Because he's not gonna take you. No one's gonna take you. Like, just learn what you do, know what you're doing before you do it. Basically, is what I'm saying. Shit slow. Him I paying your rent? No. Bitches yeah. used to laugh at me. Nanny throwing ass at me. Yeah. Told him make the hookah, mix the sky fall with Baghdadi. Told me you don't got it all in cash. Nigga, you ain't got it all in cash, then you can cash at. Me. We need it now. You I got ain't got it all in cash. You can cash at me, bro. Facts, bro. Cash app, y'all know my uh, DM me for my cash app. I'm playing. DM me for my cash app, but you know what I'm saying. Like, really, bro. Wait until the price drop. I ain't always borrow money because I'm in a tight spot. I, I ain't out here borrowing money. That's, that's a real hustler right there. Somebody that's really a go getter. Not, not asking people for shit. I don't like to ask people for money either. That's why I be working so hard. I be saving. If I don't have it at the moment, I'm not going to go ask somebody for it. I'm going to find a way to get it. Um,. Or I'm going to wait until I get paid on payday and then I'll be able to save up and, you know, put, you know, there's, there, you just got to know what you're doing with your money, bro. And don't ask people for handouts. Don't wait. Don't sit around waiting for shit because nobody's coming to save you at the end of the day.
ain't out here lacking, necking like I ain't got out for Had me on camera apologizing like I'm, I ain't never drop a diss on the op. It's the switch on my Glock. I pull up and drop this on the op. Okay. Seeing shooters get excited when I give them the drop. Seeing niggas get indicted, try and get rich on the block. I'm on the rap tour, but I'm still like Vince with the rock. But I ain't I'm help. on a rap tour, but I'm still like Vince with the rock. Bro, if y'all ain't see Vince Carter, bro, look up Vince Carter. He's B.E. -E. One of the best 360. He got the 360 windmill dunk. I think he was one of the best to ever do it back then. Um... I ain't really see him play like that, but I used to watch the mixes on Insta on YouTube and shit back back in the day when I was a young bull. And like he would go, he would just like murder everybody on the freaking court, bro. He was he was a beast. Shout out Vince Carter. I'm just saying the room, I put my wrist in the pot from under the cellar. Some happy for me, some of them jealous. Hated class, but still pass when they wanted the fellas. We Hit a class, but still pass when they wanted to the fellas. Let me tell y'all something, bro. I walked. I'll never forget this shit. Now, shout out to the teachers that, um, you know, did did fuck with me in high school and, you know, did really help me. Shout out to y'all. I'm not dissing no teachers on this. But what I am going to say is there's one, this one teacher. Um, I walked right up to him at graduation practice because I had passed. And he looked at me like, with the look of like, how the fuck did you pass? I was like, I was like, I did. He was like, wow, congratulations. And I was like, all right, whatever. And basically, that that bull did not want me to pass, bro. You know, they there was, you know, um, but what he's saying is like, you know, like teachers, some teachers you you think you a bad kid in school, say so just. Though you wanted to, you know, whatever, and you still pass. I'm one of those people that, you know, still pass somehow by the grace of God. Um, and was out here grind. Was I, but I already knew, like, I was, I was, I already knew I was gonna do this music shit. There's YouTube and music or something in music since tenth grade. So it's not like maybe not probably younger than that since like fifth grade. But you know, like, young is really try hard in school. But be open to like, especially the world we're in now, there's so many opportunities out there, but just do your thing. Grind, bro, because like I said, when you get older, nobody will come to save you. Nothing but fellas been ballin', what the fuck can they tell us? Since the answer crossed sure and not as number one sellers. You wasn't there for my broke days, my backing up so days. I've tried box me and them niggas spin both ways. And I ain't saying no names, but niggas wasn't there when them folks came. I still owe my mom for the dough frame. You wasn't there when I spent the year eating. I still owe my mom. You wasn't there for the year. Oh, okay. No main, no He wasn't there. Yo, bro. I'ma give y'all a whole lesson. Bro. I would still, I don't give a fuck how much money I'm making, bro. If I make a little bit of money or I'm making a lot of money. That low main going to hit every time. Low main, rhyming going to hit every single time, bro. I loved it. I love, I, that's literally, I grew up on ramen, bro. That's all I ate. Like, I was so picky. I would eat, I would eat top ramen every single day after school, bro. That's all I wanted to eat with the hot sauce and the butter, bro. Put a little hot sauce, put a little butter on there, and then mix it up. Yeah, that shit busts. But what he's saying is now that he's up and he's successful, don't try calling his phone. Because when he was down, he tried to like, when he was down, you probably laughed at him. You probably kicked him while he was down. So now he, you know, is doing better. And you try to come around like, yo, bro, bro, you my boy, you my boy. You be Joe as shit. Get off, get off. Like, don't be Joe as shit now. Don't be like. Oh yeah, he was my best friend in fourth grade. So now he like, fuck that, bro. He he put in the work. You're hating on him, so fuck it. Shane used to bust it down with the whole gang. Price and gravy was mad at God for the life he gave me on them pills. Was mad at God for the life he gave me. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna give y'all a little insight on my life. Um, I used to be mad at God too for the. I, not for maybe not even for the same reasons as him. But like I'm partially for those of you who don't know, I'm partially uh do I even wanna say? I'll just say it, fuck it, bro. I was born when I was born I had a stroke. So, um, you know, I hated like growing up, 
I wanted to be my first, my first dream profession was a professional ball player. That got crushed. Second dream profession was a rapper. That got crushed. Um, because I had, I, because of the stroke, I had epilepsy. One of the things was I have epilepsy. So, um, I can't be going to concerts and shit like that. So I can't be around the lights, which is most the artists make their money off touring. So, uh, I, and then at the end of the day, this is what I'm supposed to do. This YouTube shit, but I love doing what I do now, but, um, Basically, I was made at the world, bro. I did not want to have to go to therapy every day at school. I did not want to have to do that shit every single day. So when I found hip, a lot of people be like, "Why are you into hip hop? Like, why are you into hip hop? You 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 not from any kind of hood or anything like that." Which don't matter if you're from the hip hop worldwide now. But like growing up, it was like you 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 should be into some kind of different music. And they're like, "Why are you into this?" It's because y'all are rapping about struggle. I struggled a lot. Growing up, so when I and everybody has different struggles. Whether you, I don't give a fuck. You white, black, yellow, Mexican, Hispanic, purple, whatever. Um. So that's why I relate to this type of music, and that's why um, you know, I said at the end of, in the beginning, I said I was mad at the world, and that's why I was mad at the world too. So I can see where you're coming from, bro. And don't give me no like I don't. I wasn't looking for sympathy when I said all that stuff. I just brought, that's what the emotion came out, and that's what I said. Those broke high and angry. You wasn't there in that dope fiend spot where the doors ain't locked. You wasn't there when the coke ain't locked. You wasn't there, nigga, when we was supposed to run the train. And I was the last one to go, and that bitch told me no. We was 50 strong. I did the math before I did the song. I cut off half to 25 of them did me wrong. Seen niggas rat and disappear. They pulled the Nicky bones. Five, seven, know me stretching by the midget long. You wasn't there, nigga. Yo, you snapping, bro. I fuck with this John Heavy. Yeah. You wasn't dead, nigga. Shout out, um, shout out, uh, House of Star Gra uh, House of Star Graphics, um, how no House of Art Graphics, um, shout out, uh, Hey Headshot, shout out, um, J Max Visuals, and shout out, uh, Bando Shot Me. Um, y'all be y'all be great with that video. Shout out, uh, my man Ryder. Shout out, Meek Mills. Shout out, the whole Dream Chasers. You already know, um, Rap House Reactions, get get up with me, A-Money 610, Rap House Reaction, we out, peace.